Nick speaking and welcome to this video right up high. Got a treat in store for you today. I've got some lovely eye candy for you. Um, but first up, uh, Courage and Honour, which is where I got my eye candy from. Um, really, really great channel. Uh, it's a father and son uh, team. If you haven't heard of them, you need to hear about them. You need to go over and uh, check out their channel and subscribe because they're really great guys. They do some fantastic work on their uh, hobby stuff. And um, yeah, you need to check them out because um, I've been following their channel for quite some time now and uh, the content's really great. They always uh, reply to my comments, always um, comment on my videos and uh, just general great guys to have in the community. So yeah, please, please go and check them out. I should put a link in the description below. So I have two things which Courage and Honour have sent me. Uh, the first one, uh, which we start with, yes, let's start with this one. Okay, so a while back um, they posted a video where they made a piece of terrain, um, a little outhouse, uh, for a little bit of fun. And I commented on it, said I'd really love to have one of those. Um, that was quite some time ago, um, but I've just had a little parcel turn up and not only have I got a outhouse, which looks fantastic, but it's, it's gone one step further with this and we've actually got a little uh, a playpen for it as such. Look how awesome this is. Uh, the detail on this is fantastic guys, thank you so much. Um, I love this little toilet roll. I mean, it actually spins and the whole thing moves. It's fantastic. Uh, I really love it. I love this pile of logs as well here. Um, attention to detail, just like a couple in different position. Really makes way for um, a very scenic piece and the little path. And also, I like the variation that you've got in the wood as well, like with the different tones and colours. It really makes way for an eye-catching piece. So yeah, I'm so, so chuffed with this. This is absolutely amazing. Um, it may not necessarily go with my Necron board very well, but it's definitely going to go on my buddy's board. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take it to his house when we have some games, and we're going we're gonna to have some fun on this. So we're going to definitely make this an objective. And I like the fact that you can sort of stand your minis in here, have a couple of minis holding it. Of course, Necrons wouldn't be using this, but um, I reckon Orcs would be in there. Uh, especially if they see my three Catan list coming up, they're going to need the toilet. <laughs> so yeah, thank you very much guys, I, I really love this and more importantly I really really appreciate it. It's fantastic um, what you've done for me, I, I think it's fantastic, yeah, I love it. Um, now not only that, we've got an extra little treat and that is this model here, a little Reaper model. Uh, so they just did a subscriber appreciation competition and uh, although I didn't actually win it, um, one person that won it, won it wasn't able to collect their prize and as I was the person that um, made the most comments on their videos um, I had the honour of receiving this mini. So it is a Praying Paladin from uh, Reaper, so I'm going to actually open it up here for you. I've been quite excited looking at this from inside the packet but I wanted to open it on this video um, and see if I can do anything with it. If I could actually open it, I could probably do with a knife, but I don't have one. Ah, here we go. Alright, let's have a look at this. Wow, he looks uh, pretty cool actually. So what's that? This is, oh, he's got a sword, he's a bit bent, so that's okay, we can bend that. Now the question is, how am I going to use this in my army? I'm just going to stop the camera and get a bit closer for you. Right, there he is. Now, I was sort of thinking that I might actually be able to use this as an Aldar person, possibly. I might have to just uh, change that shoulder pad a bit. Uh, try to make him into an HQ choice, like a Farseer. I think that would be pretty cool. I reckon I might be able to convert him into a Farseer. And I know you love Aldar, Courage and Honour, so I'm sure you'll be very proud to have this as an Aldar piece. But um, yeah, if any of you guys have got any ideas maybe of what I could do, bearing in mind that I have Necrons, Tyranids, Aldar and Space Wolves, so any ideas how to convert that up into something? But yeah, my initial thought is going to be a Farseer of some description. I mean, I may not necessarily use his hands, I might change this around somehow, cut his arm off maybe, have something different. Um, I'll probably have to take his, that little helmet off as well, maybe put an Aldar helmet down on there. 
yeah that'd be cool take that helmet off put an Aldar helmet on there so yeah I've got some ideas already um, but yeah if you've got some ideas as well please feel free to comment below and uh, once again thank you very much courage and honour please go and check out the channel and subscribe okay that's it from me thanks for watching